I've been fascinated by magic for as long as I can remember. And I'm not the only one. It's never ceased to amaze and puzzle people from all corners of the globe. Just how do you do the impossible? For me, magic is about the streets. That's my stage. A place where I can mix my love of comedy and entertainment with traditional trickery. What I love most is that the language of magic is universal. You can do it on any street, anywhere in the world, knowing that while people are going about their everyday lives, my magic can make them stop and stare in amazement, amusement and astonishment. They call me Pete Heap, and this is Around the World in 80 Tricks. This time on Around the World in 80 Tricks. I'm in Mumbai, India, where I bowl over cricket mad locals, get inspired by Bollywood's finest, entertain in Mumbai's biggest slum, and show you how to perform tricks that get reactions like this. Mumbai, India's largest city. The powerhouse of India, birthplace of Bollywood and home to over 16 million people. It's the fourth most populated city in the world and it's full of people, from hordes of daily commuters to tourists keen to take in the stunning coastlines. Mumbai is a city passionate about sports. Many have played here, but by far the most popular is cricket. Cricket fever is huge. People will play anywhere and everywhere. I thought I'd give it a go. Can I play? Can I play with you? Yeah? yeah? Sure. Okay, good. Okay, I want to play a game of cricket, but we want... Okay, can I use my ball? Yeah. My ball? Yeah. This is my ball. Yeah. This is my ball. ball. Yeah, yeah. Um, and... Yeah. Uh, I want one of you to say stop. I'm going to do this. I want someone to say stop. Stop. OK. Yeah. Stop. There? You sure? Yeah. I can go further if you want. Stop. You happy there? OK, have a look. Uh, in fact, take it. And can you show the camera? OK. OK. Yeah? yeah? So remember the number and remember the picture, remember everything, yeah? But don't tell me. Can I put it in my pockets? Actually, put it somewhere in the pack. Some, somewhere in the pack. Now put it in there somewhere, yeah? Okay, you take and shuffle. Mix. Uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, anything. Mix, mix a little bit. I can't do that. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't matter. That's good. That's good. So now, nobody knows. Nobody knows where your card is, right? You don't know. I don't know. It's even you. Even you. Okay. Now, here's where the cricket comes in, OK? I want you to hold those. That's the ball, yeah? And we need a bat as well, OK? Um, can I use a bat? Yes. Yeah? OK, is that all right? OK. Um, but... Yeah, ball it. Yeah. Can I use one of these? Yeah? Yeah? OK. OK. That's OK. So, yeah. Uh, that's the ball. Yeah, I want you to take, uh, to step that way a bit. OK? And I want you... I'm going to go one, two, three. And when I get, when I get three, I want you to throw the cards like, at the bat, OK? The whole pack, yeah. OK. Ready? OK? OK? One, two, three. Seven little guys. Yeah. That's the one. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if there's a passion to match cricket, it's Bollywood. And in a country full of colour, the Mumbai murals of these Bollywood legends are a perfect addition to the cityscape. The man behind these amazing artworks is Ranjit Daya, founder of the Bollywood Art Project. So, Ranjit. Yeah. I'm going to try something a little bit different with you now, OK? okay. Um, a little bit of mind reading. OK. OK, so I'm going to see what I can get out of you. Um, you're an artist. Yeah. So you're going to create an image for okay. me. OK. But you're going to create an image in your head. OK. OK. Now, um, before you do that, yeah. I want it to be something random, but something quite simple. Like, for example, you, it, it could be, uh, I don't know, a shoe, or you could picture a, a cat, or okay. something fairly simple, but that I couldn't know you would go for. So yeah. don't go for um, don't go for a hat because you know just because it would seem like too obvious, right? Yeah. Something that just a random object or thing that you can visualize in your head. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you done that? Yeah. Have you got something in your head? You know what you're gonna you know what you're going for. Yeah. Is there any way uh. like for I mean for the camera, is there any way I could know have you what you would think of? Is there any way? No. 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 OK, good. But for now, because it is in your head and it's, it's, it's quite a small image, OK, yeah. right? So uh, we're going to try and make it a bit, um, a bit bigger. So I've got um, a couple of clipboards here. One for you and yeah. one for me. Okay. OK. Now, I'll give, that, I'll give you a pen. <laughs> um, we're going to stand back to back so we okay. can't see what we're drawing. You're going to draw a, like a bigger version of what you're thinking of, so bigger than it is in your head, just nice, you know, even a bit of detail if you want. Okay. Um, I'm going to draw a picture as well. Okay. I'm going to try and sort of tap into what you're thinking. I've got no idea if it will work, okay. but um, we'll, see what, we'll see what happens, OK? OK, yeah. okay. so um, if we stand sort of back to back, um, yeah. like this, can you, can, can you see what I'm doing? No. I can't see what you're doing either. Don't start yet. But I'm going to go one, two, three, and then okay. you're going to start drawing. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. All right. One, two, three, go. Start drawing. Now, I may not be as good an artist as Ranjit, but I am a great reader of minds. So let's see if I can tap into his thoughts. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. You're done? OK. Don't, stay, stay as you are. Yeah. But um, we're going to go one, two, three, and then we're both going to show our drawings to uh, the camera. One, two, three, now. And then turn it just to us. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Is it a buffalo? Yeah. Thank God. I'm fine. There you go. Wow. Wow, that's so nice, huh? Eh? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know how, like, he read my mind. I mean, he, how he, like, figured out what I'm thinking. So I think that is, like, surprising for me. I'm going to try and show you something that combines a bit of uh, my art form, okay. which is magic, yeah. with your art form, which yeah. is drawing, painting, that yeah, kind yeah, of thing, yeah? yeah. OK. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I've got some cards, OK? okay. I'm going to mix them up, okay. like this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get you to choose one to start with. So I'm going to flick okay. through like this. I want you to say, stop. stop. I think. So yeah, makes sense? OK. Yeah. Stop. Right there? Yeah. OK, sure? OK, yeah. we're going to cut that. Yeah. Um, and we're going to use that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to look at it. It doesn't matter that I see it. Okay. Two of hearts. Happy? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So that's the card we're going to use there. I'm going to give you a pen, okay. and I'm going to get you to, without really looking what you're doing, to just randomly draw lots of little. I'm going to hold the cards like this, and okay. I want you to just draw little dots and marks. Okay. So it's like abstract art, okay. right? Yeah. Like modern art. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, that way we'll end up with a piece of art. Yeah. A weird piece of art, but a piece of art on the back of your card, OK? okay yeah. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah. OK, brilliant. So I'm going to give that to you. Yeah. OK, I'm going to get you to take the cap off. Perfect. Yeah. And uh, let me square that up. Uh, I'm going to get you to just randomly, maybe about 20 different dots, just yeah, like that. Lots of little dots, that's quite a few. Keep going. Brilliant. OK, yeah. cool, that should do it. OK, cool. Good. Let's see how you've done. I'm going to try and see if it's now. That's not, does that mean anything to you? No? 
not like a doesn't make a picture, no? No. No? Okay. Um, but we know it's your card, right? It's, mar it's a marked card. Yeah, yeah. No? Okay. Hold on, watch this. I'm gonna make it a bit more distinctive. Right. Ready? Watch. <laughs> Is that a bit better? Yeah. That's a bit more. Uh, that's a bit more distinctive now, isn't it? Wow. Oh. Gee. Oh. <laughs> oh. People are always trying to work out the secrets of my magic. I've seen quite a few magic, but this was like outstanding. Like it was unbelievable. In the right surroundings, even the smallest of tricks can get a massive reaction. Here's a little trick that you can try at home. All you need are a couple of matches and some hands, preferably your own. Here's the trick. You take the two matches and you say you're going to try and build up some static electricity, rub it on your sleeve. And then you do this. and they fly apart as if they're kind of magnetically repelling each other. So that's the trick. You have your friends trying it, and they won't be able to do it. Because I was lying. There's no static electricity, no magnetism, nothing like that. It's just a little bit of sleight of hand. Here's how it works. Grab one of the matches, put it on your left hand. You want the head of the match to be overhanging the edge of your hand slightly, like that. So uh, most of the match is lying across your fingers, just the head, just the head is sticking out over the side of your hand, that's important. The other match, you take in your right hand, or whatever your dominant hand is, just reverse it if you're left-handed. So you're holding it between your first finger and your thumb, and your second finger is just resting on the match as well. And your thumb is on top, like that. As you bring the matches together, you actually hook your second fingernail onto the very end of the match. So you're, you're sort of just slightly catching the edge of the match with uh, your fingernail like that. And as, as you can see there, I'm kind of flicking it. If you, if, you, if you let the nail slide off the edge of the match, that will flick the match head. So here's, what, here's how it happens. You bring it in, thumb on top. You get your second fingernail just so it's catching on the edge. And then you let it slide off the edge of the match just as you bring the heads together. That's how it's done. Try it out next time you're in the bar or in the match factory. So, can I try this with you? Yeah? Okay, what's your name? My name is Shahin. Shahin. Shahin, Pete, nice to meet you. Okay, I'm gonna spread through here like this. Shahin, I want you to take one. Take one, yeah? I won't look. Let, let me know when you've got one, yeah? Can you sign your name on there for me? Yeah? Perfect, thank you. So we have a five of hearts with a name, okay? Okay. Can you all see? Okay, good. All right, now watch the card, five of hearts, okay? In the middle, okay? In the middle. It's gonna jump up to here, okay? Watch. So this should be the five of hearts. Thank you. I'll show you that again. Thank you. Watch this. Watch this again. Watch. That's your signature, yeah? Yeah. Okay, watch. Um, could you lift about half of the pack? Perfect. And then put them on top. Perfect. So you put that in there yourself this time. Watch. Thank you. Okay, thank you. This time, I'm even going to tell you where it's going to go, right? Look, watch. It's going to start here. It's going to go to my back pocket. Watch. It's gone. I don't mean the card has gone. I mean the whole pack has gone. All the way. Thank you. You like that? Okay. Um, now the weirdest thing about all this, you could have picked any card, yeah, and you could have signed your name however you wanted. I made a little. No. I made a little prediction. So in my pocket here, I have a wallet, OK? Inside there, there is a zip, zip compartment like this. Like. Inside there, there is an envelope. OK, this is a sealed envelope. Can you check that out? And can you? Yeah, rip it open. That's sealed, right? Properly sealed. Inside there, there's a folded card. Signature. 
Dharavi is one of the largest slums in the world and it's said to be home to anywhere between 700,000 and a million people. These kids may not have much, but they're some of the smiliest, happiest kids I've ever met. I love performing magic to children and here is no exception. I really wanted to make sure that the trick I performed for them was a genuine treat. Hi. What's your name? I said, I said, yeah? I said, I'm Pete. I said, do you know, you know what this is? Yes. What is it? Bye bye. Oh, no, it's not a pie. But let me show you, let me show you something cool. Watch. Bye. Lollipop. <laughs> lollipop, yeah. So that's what it is, a lollipop stick. Yeah, yeah, OK, lolly. Uh, so, no, no, watch, watch, watch. Lolly? Lolly, watch. What is this? What? Wait, 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 wait. I know what you're thinking. One lollipop just isn't enough for all this lot. Well, let's see what we can do about that. That's more like it. Life here can be tough, especially for those less fortunate. But the people here work so incredibly hard and definitely seem to make the most of what they have. And clearly, some of them are quite entrepreneurial. Amongst the shantytown, over 20,000 small-scale businesses operate. And the turnover is said to be in the region of $600 million a year. I can't compete with that. But let's see if I can make some money of my own. I need... Uh... I need something like some uh, paper or paper. Yeah, like um, like no, like this, but maybe maybe bigger. Like yeah, that's perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Can we use that? Yeah. Um, paper. Um, have a look. look. Yeah. Look. Normal. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mumbai really is a city of contrasts. Away from the poverty of the slums is Bandra, home to a host of trendy bars, some of the finest in the world. This quirky bar is the perfect place for a quick drink before my next trip. So guys, I want two of you to take a car. Do you want to take one? Yeah, and you? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so I'm going to spread through, reach in, take one. Okay, and you take one as well, okay? Okay, perfect, and they're all different still, yeah? Um, can you show them so everyone knows what you've got? I'm not looking. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look back, cool. I'm gonna shuffle through here like this now, and somewhere in there, one of you just say, stop. Stop. Okay, perfect, put your card there. 
Yeah. Okay, and you put your card there. Okay. Now you could have said stop anywhere, right? That's a fair, a freely chosen place. Watch. Um, I'm going to start with you, with yours, Raj. Watch. Yeah, that's my card. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the one, right? That's my card. Okay, really. <laughs> but I'm gonna get yours as well. Okay. actually made the card rise from the back. When, when it was in his hand initially, I thought that it, he was doing something with his finger and pushing it up. When he kept it on the table, it was completely mind-blowing because I've not really seen anything like that before. And I have no idea how he's done. It was just simply amazing. I know I've only just met you guys, yeah. but I want to borrow some money off one of you, if I can. Sure. <laughs> yeah? Okay. yeah? Very trusting. Yeah. Are you sure? I am a yeah, magician. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. OK, I promise not to make it disappear. OK. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like a banknote, yeah, like um, a 10 or... You got a 10? This will do. Uh, I don't know what that is. What's that? It's a one ruby coin, one ruby note. OK, um, and we want something a bit bigger, maybe a 10. Do you have a 10? Yeah. Ah, perfect, perfect. Great. That'll do. Okay, and that's your money, right? Okay. I'll be careful with it. Don't no worry. Watch. If I put this in there. Okay. My Watch, watch. That's a hundred rupee note. He turned the ten rupee note into hundred rupee note. He just folded it, he just crushed the note and kept it into the ash box and it just burned and turned into hundred rupee note. I'm still confused how he did it. Mumbai, an epic, vibrant city with its busy railroads and streets. The city never sleeps and is alive with all kinds of activity. But what may look like chaos seems to keep this resilient city going. The work ethic is truly admirable. It's a city where two extremes seem to coincide and coexist, and together they help keep this growing city and country thriving. The passion and the drive that the people in Mumbai have is really inspiring and humbling at the same time. I feel fortunate to have visited here performing my magic. Thank you. And I can't wait for my journey to continue.